Hello, buddy. Welcome. Hopefully some of you are returning from earlier today. If not, well, it's nice to see you. Welcome, everybody, to the stream. Hopefully you are all doing well. We're going to get this uh, series started up very, very soon, but... Of course, behind the scenes, we're making sure that everything works to how we want it to. It's going to be a best of seven or second series of the night. You nerd heard Astral Emission. Now, we've actually seen Astral Emission play before. We saw them play in the semifinals against White Esports in the uh, semifinals of the Skyward Series, the uh, Season Zero. Uh, they actually were, went on to win the whole tournament, which is pretty fun. Um, for BBU Nerd Herd, we've seen them multiple times here in the Blackline Contender Series. Of course, there's still time and a lot of matches to go here for these teams, but when the winner semifinals, as long as they keep winning, they're going to find themselves in increasingly better opportunities to take the whole tournament. Both these teams already have uh, made themselves up pretty big when it comes to their name recognition in here, but still some work to go. There's, you know, opponents ahead of them. The other side of the bracket is also looking really, really scary. That will be um, no, my true chain and Invicta, the winner of that series, will be will uh, move on to the winners' finals. They'll be playing against the winner of this series, so this is not going to be an easy walk in the park for them. I don't. Think, there's no such thing as a walk in the park. Of course, there's, and of course, uh, no, my true chain and Invicta are going to be in a few days. They're going to be on Saturday. I wonder if anybody will take it. As on the lower side of the bracket, which you guys will not be able to see, uh, currently, Radiance Era and Sloth Slime will be playing Loser Round 4. And on the other side of the Loser Round 4, it's Monkey Bar who's facing the winner of Team Cryptic and United Men's Association. Team Cryptic, United Men's, that, um, that matchup. I mean, there's a lot of good matchups for, uh, this far in the bracket. Um, well, that matchup hasn't currently been scheduled yet, apparently. Um, but it will be for later in the week at some point. Which, that's going to be fun. So, make sure to not miss out on um, some of these matches if they are taken. Give you nerd Astral Emission. There you go. Got a prediction poll now. You can vote for who you think will win. Remember, that prediction poll also goes inside at the time that I sent the uh, lobby info to these teams. So, I got a couple minutes to join the lobby. As again, we have pushed the match back, uh, you know, a couple minutes. It was originally scheduled for it uh, 15 minutes ago, but they had to push it back. Um, like a day ago, they had to push it back a, a little bit. So, as well, this match is at a bit of a strange time. I don't generally see matches played at 10.15 Eastern. Um, but they are playing it here. And so we'll be, you know, using that. It's not a big deal. We can work around that as we are... Now, waiting for both these teams to join on in. We have a couple of minutes left. Make sure to get your predictions out there if you want to predict who you think will win this series. Nerd, Astral. And solid team, solid organizations. But, in a best of seven, all these matches now are in, are the best, are in best of sevens for the Contender Series. Winner of this will go to the winner's finals, and... When you get to those winners' finals, that's kind of, you guarantee at least top three, which is already really good for any of these teams. But what's crazier is it's just good for these teams, but it's also just good um, for this placement as well. If you're in that uh, grand, in the, the upper finals, if you win, you get to keep your two lives in the grand finals, and and the usability of that is is so great. If you lose in the grand finals, you're still not out. You get to play again. As now, waiting around for um, these players to get in the lobby, get ready. Third Herd playing tonight with Kovo and Nabel and, and Cairo. I'm noticing in the lobby, so interesting, they're playing their sub tonight.
as we're just kind of waiting for these teams to be ready to fully join in. But as soon as they are, as soon as we hit that match time, we'll be good to go. As hopefully any of you in chat, if you guys are waiting for one of these teams to make sure you let us know. As it seems like both teams are ready, I think we're basically at our match time. A little early, but we'll, we'll wait. It really, I think we might wait it a little bit. And as soon as we got ourselves starting, we're just gonna hit be ten fifteen in no time. Prediction poll. You got a couple seconds left on that, but um, this is a pretty good time for us to, I think, start this matchup. It's a best of seven. You gotta win four. And for BBU Nerd Herd, well, they haven't lost yet to any of their opponents. These teams haven't played each other yet. Things can change. As hopefully we're not having any frames issues. I don't think we are. I don't know if we are, I'll notice anyways. Teams already. Here they go. Ash it's BB Nerd Herd. On the blue, Astral Nation on the orange. These best of sevens can really go the distance, and and many times they do. A mission. Again, their most recent accomplishment with this roster was winning Skyward Series. For BBU Nerd Herd, their, again, their big accomplishment is still being undefeated. They haven't lost yet. If they want to make it into that Grand Finals, they can't lose! Oh, Vixily! A beautiful goal to start things off here. As he catches the whole of BBU Nerd Herd off guard. He came from the Nets and Kovu was looking at the ball. He didn't see him. And out of nowhere, he makes himself known to Vixily with the first goal of the series. Now, trying to go to the back wall. Good away by Enable to Cairo. For BBU Nerd Herd, they have not lost yet. It's gonna be kind of the running line until either they get sent down to the bracket or they win the whole thing. They're the only team that is still undefeated in this year in the contender series. In most leagues, you don't generally see that happen, especially with leagues like these where teams are so closely rated to each other. Perfect seasons. Seldom come, but of course, every good season can fall at any point, and now that's the playoffs. BB Nerder has got to watch their back. Oh, Vixel, he scored again. They said another redirect here. This one that was a little more obvious what he was going for, but still, the power behind it. Bang, top right corner. Nothing can stop that one. Astral Missions up two goals now in game one. This is how... You try to make a comeback, uh, try to make a, uh, an upset. This is how you make your tough opponents quake. Another goal. It's a Vixley to complete his hat trick. We're not even a minute and 30 in, and a Vixley's got three goals. An Astral Emission on top of things right now. Nerd Herd. Not a team that's used to making changes, but they're going to have to make some adjustments after this game. Zakovo, downfield of Muffinos. To himself, but it's Cairo to throw the field. Can Nerd Herd get some offense going? Cairo's got 18 points. I just noticed that. That is. The Enable's got 66. How many does. Zakovo's got 26. That, that is how little impact they have right now on the current outcome of this game. When your players combined have less than 100 points, it usually says that your opponents are. Beating you relatively handily. And I, I, that is pretty true. Astral Emissions came out swinging this game. Nerd Herd. Seems like they aren't able to handle Astral right now. And especially not Vixily. As whenever he kind of sits himself upfield. He can break through that defense. They don't seem to track him very well. As here's a Nabel crossbar and down. Big goal here. Nerd Herd. Get one back. Trying to maybe run up the scoring a little bit here. As Blackline, with the raid of 11, thank you so much. How was the stream, guys? 
Hopefully the stream was well. Hello, Spregu. Hello, Falcons. I know you're there, Falcons. Watching your astral friends. Hopefully everybody's doing well out there. If you don't know me, which uh, the two people I mentioned definitely know who I am, but if any of you don't know who I am, Sporty FC, I'm Sporty FC. Nice to see you all. And this is Muffinos. <laughs> Muffinos getting another goal. He doesn't want me to make my introduction. Instead, he wants to make his. And so far, it's been all vexed to score three times. Muffinos will make it a fourth goal for Astral Emission as they try to topple over the BBU Nerd Herd uh, tear, tear down team. Nerd Herd, I don't know if they've ever been beaten this badly. Of course, it's only game one, but Astral Emissions just doesn't seem to be having any issues right now. They look comfortable on offense. But Nerd Herd, do you have a goal back and they can change things up here at the end of this game? Blazing awkward. Here comes a shot from Enable. It will be stopped. Kovo. I'm gonna let it bounce here. 50 50 with Muffinos. We'll roll up the sidewall for Enable. But he can't get a touch in field. And attempted offense here from BBU. As they. It just seems like they are not able to keep up. It just. It just. Not even with sp with the uh, pacing, but mostly with control. National emissions just doesn't clear the ball at all. Nerd herd. They just want the ball away from their half. And they're trying to throw the ball just to get some more time, but national emissions, whenever they're in an awkward situation, it usually means that they can um, get control of the ball and hold it. As now Muffinos off the back wall, saved away by Kovo. Blazing. Stops by Enable. Offense. From Astral Emission. But this chance, oh my goodness, Burton and Erdard are going to get a goal back. Cairo will get this one. As I didn't actually see the threat of the real play there from Kovo. Just threw it off the back wall. And on top of it was Cairo. Nerdherd get a goal back. They're not out of it. But time is not their friend right now in game one. Getting off the back wall is a Vixily. The dribble, 50 50 with the navel. Nerd herd. We're going to have to make quick progress here. That will start by getting the ball actually out of their half, which seems to be a difficulty on its own against uh, Astral. As Kovo off the side wall. Muffinos. Oh, 50 with the navel. Now he has to get back down near the ground here. Astral emissions. Offense of Vexily, off off the uh, back wall. Cairo will touch it, but he probably didn't have to. And now again, it's Nerd Herd struggling to get possession. But fighting back, they will. Now they bumped each other, so once again, possession not in their favor. As Muffin knows with the dribble, he'll waste out enough time here that Ashla Missions can, I believe, secure their game one. As they just continue holding the ball, dribbling it. This is what they did to secure game one. As he ends the midfield, holding the ball close. And letting a Vixily at the start of the game really run with it. Astral Emission. Game one victors. Mind you, this is a best of seven series. Winner of this will move to the winner's finals. Astral Emission. Putting out on top. They add more to it. That game, they just look comfortable. It looks like when these beams came out, their playstyles, Astral Mission had a comfortable, but more relaxed approach, and, well, they won this one overall. But, teams will change. It's almost expected now with how bad game one was. Now they're waiting for Kovo. There's Kovo. He had some issues there joining in. Maybe he want to do a car change. That makes sense. I don't know if he did. Well, anyways, game two here. Maybe you nerd heard. Trying to find their foothold in this series. Game one didn't give them that opportunity. Game two, can they find their own? Or does Astral Missions do it again? And Nabel. Pass the Vixily. I like the fake there. And now gets the clear away. But again, these clears from nerd heard are just not the right plays. Natural emissions, look at what they're doing here from the midfield. Holding possession. Okay, Muffinos going for a musty flick. 
That's possession from them. They don't clear the ball often out of their own half. No, they hold it, and now they make offense Muffinos. The team captain, a natural team leader for these guys. Look at this one as Cairo inadvertently pushed up field. I think he wanted to challenge Muffinos, but Ozzy didn't predict it correctly. He might have uh, might have been expecting Muffinos to go for an air dribble. But Muffinos, but Muffinos will uh, put the Uno reverse card on that and just go for the shot. National emissions on offense immediately off kickoff here. Saved by Cairo. Blazin. The back wall Kovo. And he's got to watch out. Blazin's going for the demo play there. An aggressive demo. A tap there, but... I think that is not unlikely for a team playing this confident. Now, Herd Herd. Trying to find a way to tie back. Astral emissions. Send two up to the midfield. Buffanos is last. He's getting challenged by a Nabel off the back wall. His team's going for some... Uh, demos. Uh, off of the uh, back wall, but hasn't worked. Getting rid of that back wall defender so important because you can uh, very easily take advantage of a team that doesn't protect their back wall. This Kovo now clears. Muffinos didn't read this one. Evix Lee. I was on back wall. And Nabel couldn't put a shot on it. National Missions finds another outplay. Uh, Evix uh, he's always in the midfield for those passes. Having a player like Evix Lee. Well, he's not just a natural goal scorer for these guys. He's also just a really good outlet passing option. You know where he's going to be. He's always there consistently, and he always finds room for himself. He's now Avexali. Gets a dunk on Kovo. Astral Emission. The Muffinos demo to Nabel. Dribble, but challenged by Avexali. And a Blazin jumping from distance. Cairo. No boost. Muffinos doesn't read this one. Uh, but BB Nerdhood cannot create offense for themselves, and... Once again, the ball is cleared away. Avixali with the pinch. Plays in. He was looking for Avixali, but Avixali had no boost, and he didn't get the, corner, the side ball either. A demo. Offense. Shot from Nerder. They'll put that one in the bottom left corner. A quick counterattack. And they make it into an odd man rush with that demo there from Kovo. Well, open up the space that Avixali cannot close down. Pyro. Well, he has that part of the net open to shoot at, and he'll take his chance. Astral Mission's a lot less successful in this game offensively. Again, last game, they were able to get... Um, what was it? Five different goals in that game? Yeah, they got the, like uh, they got five goals that last game. This one, they've only been able to get one and we're only about halfway through. As a Vexily. Iroh, but that's just straight back to a Vexily. Infield for Muffinos. Muffinos for the double. Couldn't put it in. Here comes Blazin. Pass Kovo. Nerder starting to panic and struggle here. As Muffinos. Shot saved by Kovo. And Kovo will get that boost. Astral Emissions going to retreat back here. But they've got a pinch outwards. Kovo. Waiting for it, though. Let's look for a Nabel. But Muffinos, he caught that blade. Took away the passing option. By intercepting the play itself. Blazin. Gets past one, but the back wall. Oh, by Cairo. Now Kovo from his net. Still Kovo. His shot's weak. And Vixily won't have an issue stopping that one. Blazin. Drop down. Cairo. Holding control. Blazin's used up all his boosts. Gonna take him a while to recover back. And Astral need those kind of quick recoveries. If I'm jumping in for so many shots. You can't leave the play for too long or else... I'm gonna be kind. You're gonna find yourself being a detriment to your team. Blaze in air. He'll make it 2 1. Astral Mission. What about an interesting play? Obviously, gets a dem uh, the dunk play and Blaze uh, He must have predicted that play to get to the ball so quickly. I think he did. I think he noticed where the ball was going. Or at least where it would have gone. Could have gone and where it then would have gone. And then he'll get the goal off of it. Once again, Astral Mission's in the lead. Avexali to Blazin, trying to make it free. They will. Blazin shoots it behind the last defender. And I will say, credit to Kaya not jumping on this initial shot here. But this follow-up. Yeah, they cover up as much as, that as possible. Blazin will find the corner. Astral Mission's with a little bit of insurance here with about a minute remaining. Oh, they missed the kickoff. Oh, Nabel's going to get a goal for free. Oh my! Interesting situation here for Astral Emission. They missed the kickoff. Blazin. Oh no, Blazin. He doesn't want to look at that play again. 
Which, uh, in the scene, you call a Ronaki. You don't see that ha happen often, especially at this level. You think players at, you know, do you think players at this high of a, to, uh, of a tournament wouldn't make those things, but time special makes you do weird things, as this one, oh my, that's off the post. Astro Mission is so close to getting that goal back. Now, dribble and feel from Kovo. Couple bumps, Cairo. Off the back wall for Enable. Enable back to Cairo. Vixily doesn't like the play. And they'll tie it up here. Nerdered, get a third. And this one just pushing more and more. Fighting for every inch of space. And that fight. Well, it will consume an astral emission. It will take them down. We have a tied game here. Astral emissions. On offense. A Vexily up high. Double tap. Couldn't put in the tight angle. Blazing. Up Muffinos. Jumping with him. Blazing to the side wall. 50 50 with Cairo. Bovo. That's by Blazing, but. Muffinos was there. Now he's got the dribble. Now he's got the double. Oh, God. Cairo jumps in the way. By the way, this guy's their substitute. And he is playing phenomenally well. But they got to keep it out. That one, Blazin, will keep it up high. Flick. Muffinos on low boost. Cleared away. Avixly will let it drop. And Astral Missions, after having a two goal lead with about a minute remaining, now we're on to overtime. But Muffinos. Couldn't cut a shot there. Blazin. Back to a Vixily. To the back wall. Cairo gets this play. Astral Missions. They function well when they have that threat in the midfield. And that threat has kind of dissipated in this last minute as they kind of as they kind of uh, rush to try to see if they can get a goal. Muffinos on low boost. They'll get a flick though. That's pass two. Enable turning back. Muffinos fakes on Enable. Flick over Kovo. Kovo still jumps to it. A full tank of boost will help you with that. It's now Vixily. Kovo blazing off the back wall. Pyro clear. Muffinos. Got some boost here. Musty flick. It's weak. But it will go through. Cairo with the save. Blazing. Stop by Kovo. Chance after chance. Astral missions. Not wasting them. But still kept out by Nerd Herd. Now Nerd Herd on offense. Cairo. Drop down in front. Muffinos with control. Muffinos 50 50. This one, though, maybe cleared away. A Vixily on it. Now, now Blazin. Two players in the middle. Blazin! Oh, saved off by Enable. Muffinos having to race back here. I think he may have thought his team was going to win that one. But no, they still have work to do. Astral Emission. In front, Kovo. Credit with the save against the Vixily. Muffinos. Off the corner, Astral Mission's got the key to success. But do they open the door? A Vixily to the back wall. Can't find the second touch, Kovo. And no boost now for the Nerder players. They're really struggling back here. As Astral Mission continues to squeeze them, starve them of all their resources. That dunk will help, though. Muffinos, gotta be careful. Cairo off the corner. Muffinos clear to a Vixily. Cross field to Muffinos, who will take that side boost. Hoping Avixily can get the, uh, the bump play, but he does force you to commit. Avixily couldn't read this. Blazing now. Two minutes in overtime. And both these teams still unsuccessful. As Kovo. In front of that orange net, Avixily will clear. And Nabel holds the ball. 50-50 with Blazing. Towards the back wall, Muffinos. Pinch play. Kovo will stop him. Now he's got a flick. That's a high one. That should be good for Cairo, but... Beaten by Blazin. Now Cairo got a bump. He couldn't get the redirect. Nerd Herd still on offense. But it won't last much longer. Except in the Nabel with a great dive in challenge. Astral Missions trying to clear the ball away. A Vixily. Big dunk here. And that bounce is also going to favor them. But still a Nabel through the defense to Kovo. Not past the Vixily. Cairo. No shot. Blazin gets the clear. A Vixily towards the corner, but also towards a Nabel. Still, it's Blazin. Now a Vixily up. Cairo on top of so many things for this BBU defense. They want. A, they need a goal, and they need it soon. 
Well, more likely they'd want it soon. I don't think they want to play this overtime much longer. 50-50. Going towards the net. Muffinos will save. Pyro. A Vixily with the clear. And this overtime goes on and on. These teams... Just looking for any play they can get. As Kovo looking for the incredible shot. Muffinos. Let's beat them all. Open backfield. Blazing to Muffinos. To the net. Astral Emissions will win it. 3.43 on the clock. And Nerd Herd committed too much. It's Astral Emission now at a two game lead. And that one, the closest game that we've seen in a while. The overtime will fall to the team that's currently just a little bit better in the series. Although that gap is closing quickly. Nerd Herd's only points. Cairo had six saves. Five saves for Kovo. Cairo was on so many things. He was a nuisance to Astral Missions. But in that final play, he wasn't there to save them. Astral Emission now moving to game three. They lead by two against the current undefeated team, uh, the only undefeated team in the Contender Series. Off the kickoff, Muffinos shot, saved by Kovo. Gives it around to Vexley. Doesn't read this blazon. We'll throw it off the back wall, and Nabel's waiting. He will get a touch, he'll get a clear. The Kovo, but stopped by Astral Emissions. Who now create offense, a Vexily. Gonna hit that ball away, maybe he had more time than he thought he did. Or, or I should correct myself, he had more time than he thought he did. As Blazin. Dribble play, it's a Muffinos. They looked for a team pinch there. Blazin's still up, he'll get the touch on one. A Vexily shot, gets to Kovo, Muffinos! Goal for Astral Mission. A lead in game three. And it takes all three players to fight their way, to push their way through Baby Nerd Herd. 50 50 after 50 50. They get the job done. Still more work to do in this game. This kick off. They've been in the mission's favor. They've been up a little bit faster, but not a lot of boost. It's really tough to be fast off that kickoff. Muffinos. Dunks by Kovo, but he used all his boost to get there. Muffinos with the dribble. Bumped by Ch uh, Cairo. Muffinos still 50-50 with enable for Blazin. Oh my goodness, Muffinos. He got bumped by Cairo. Still had enough boost. And he takes out Enable's challenge. That is the work ethic a mission is putting in. Muffinos, clear it away, bump on Kovo, another bump on Kovo, Kovo, getting rocked here, by national mission, but now they leave some space for Enable, dribble, dunks by Muffinos, off the back wall, follow up shot is good, Muffinos scores again, and now Astral Missions, taking this game, they're chewing up the BBU Nerd Herd defense, As they just continue to strike with power, with pace. A back pass is a little bit strong. A chance for Nerder to put on offense. Kovo infield for Cairo. And right now Nerder's got some very strong um, midfield possession. National Mission's going to get, uh, gonna have trouble getting this ball out. A little touches like that can help waste time. Enable. Dribble. He's over a Vixily. And a Vixily didn't consider Enable's boost amount. You can't blame him here. Vixley looks like he underjumped the ball and couldn't get back to it, but he most definitely did. Catches a Vixley, pushing up aggressively as he thought the ball was going to hit the ground in front of him before a ground pinch. He's now blazing. Offense. Might be set. No good. Pyro. This one bouncing. Enable. Kovo, he had a little doink there, but his doink actually didn't get a lot of pop on the ball. And the airtime didn't really... And the airtime is necessary in a pop like that, if it's going to be not so fast as, as that pop was. And Nabel now with a dribble. Doesn't get the flick! Blazing on net, saved by Cairo. Pixely. 
past the navel. I had to go backwards to go up forwards, and now off the sidewall, Blazin's got boost. And eventually challenges and eventually challenge there helped Ashley Emissions get that offense. Forcing BBU Nerdhood to sit back further. Wait for him. And you can do things like that. Makes your opponents have to respect what you can do. Now in front for a Nabel. Couldn't drop it down. Uh, Ashley Emissions struggling to get the ball out, but here comes Mafanos. And second touch is good. Save by Calvo. Eventually. National missions, and even when they're on weird, awkward boost situations, they don't ever seem to be too stressed. And, like, they have this kind of calm demeanor about them. Where they're playing like normal. Still. They could find themselves in a bit of an awkward situation if Nerder get a goal back. And that they are not planning on. Vexily, he dribbled his way around Enable, now demoed by Kovo. Dunk boom blazing. Keeps the offense for Astral Emission. Now that, that corner boost is gone. Enable will still get back to it. Now offense for Nerd Herd. One corner boost, that's all that it takes to make offense for uh, these teams. Has everybody committed there for Astral Emission? I don't know if that would be the play that they'd want to, but it, it does still create offense for the Muffino. Astral Emission. As long as they don't commit too many, they'll have this win secured for them. As Avexily launches this down to Muffino, stunk away by uh, Cairo. Kova with the 50 50. Enable it missed his chance. Uh, he caught Astral Emission trying to race back. Had a chance to get a shot at me and even a goal on him if he had the right placement. Astral Emission's with the clear. It's Avexily. Shot Kova off his back wall. And a pinch there will get the ball away. Muffinos. To the ground. Able forced to jump and. Special missions there. Now just playing a game of keep away. They don't really need another goal, but they'll get one anyway. It's a big silly, this one to be credited with. For three goals last game to help his team out. Not last game. Sorry, game one. This is game three. In this game, this is his first goal, but. Other than that, he's also had. An assist. Uh, it's a boot with that and many incredibly key touches in that midfield where he seems to be the strongest. National mission. Does that goal secure game three for them? With the clear, Muffinos couldn't turn this one in. No jumping for it. He won't get the boost here from the corner. Cleared by Nerdherd. Plays in. Dunked by Cairo. If it's one thing that Nerdherd have done surprisingly well in the series, it has been getting those incredibly strange dunks. Other than that, this game, especially Astral Emission, has their, had their number the entire way. As now, on the verge of a sweep here, Astral Emission. We knew they were good. We knew that they had the potential to take down this incredibly strong team, but you win in four games straight. That's something that you don't see often. Although saying that, that's the best stuff we've had on the stream, uh, which was between um, Nevolent... No, it wasn't. Was it? Yeah, it was the last time we had on the stream. It was another team beside in a Team Ignition Academy. That ended in a sweep for Team Ignition Academy, so... Maybe... Maybe there is something to these sweeps, but... It's fun a competition. You don't expect a lot of sweeps, but... They can be meaningful. And they are meaningful, I should say. Astral Emission. On top of being Skyward Series Champions, they want to be... Blackline Championship Series Champions. A win here will put them one step closer. They have what it takes. Now can they just put it all together one more time? Offense for Nerdherd. Kovo. Muffinos. Read that one. He gets the touch away. Now another touch. Plays in there. Enable. Trying to pick up the pace here for Nerdherd. As a clear from an Astral Emission, two players did jump for it. Nose had to be a bit careful with that touch. Make sure that it was in a place that couldn't be counted quickly. This one pinched off the sidewall. Isn't going to take that corner boost. Enable throws it long. Muffinos off the side. Cairo there. Has been a player to watch here, Cairo. He's the sub for Nerd Herd, but he's been playing well. But man, Astral Emission, they've been playing even better. Uh, Vixily. 
And I don't know what made him think that he had to go right up in front of the nets. But he must have predicted that Enable wouldn't get this touch. Because he was right. Is this a league? Yes, this is. This is Black Lion Championship Series. Avixily off the kickoff. Flick over Cairo. Blazing with the final touch past Kovo. Astral Emission with a second goal. They look. Winners, final, winners finals bounds. Anyone join? Yes, anyone can join. But generally, this league is most recognizable for its teams that are about that are GC1 and uh, above. But yes, actually, anybody could join. As Kovo with this one, try to get that push shot just a little wide. Blazing that extra touch awards the corner. And Nabo with a light one off to the back wall of Vixily jumping. Got bumped by Cairo. He's still on top of it here. Astral, emis uh, Astral Emission. Credit to how much they just continue to work. Even when it looks like they're out of the play. They don't leave it. They got boost. They'll use it. As now Cairo dunks by Blazin. Saving his team of a much bigger headache. If that one was to go on target. Muffinos here. We'll make it three. And if I'm not wrong, that's every player on the team with a goal. Astral Emission. As they try to walk their way through this one. They have the play style that works. The kickoff in their favor. Kovo will actually get that touch as no one was on top of it there for Astral um, Emission. D another demo from them. Blazing up. Beats past Cairo. Of Ixali to make it for... And at some point, Bernardo, it's not going to be if they can win. It's going to be if they can get a single goal here. As this game is now starting to get a bit out of hand for them. And it looks like they'll be sent to the lower bracket. Blazing. Infield cleared by Cairo. A Vixily with control. It's it towards the corner. Now... Up off the corner. Dribble. Against an enable. Cairo. The flick touch. Muffinos. Backwards play. Avixily's jumping for it. He's always there. It doesn't even matter. There's a player on top of him. Avixily will still go for that redirect. As Cairo dropped to Kovo. Try to make the play the smart play there. As now. Put it away a Muffino. Second touch towards the back wall. And Nabel will get a touch here. Muffinos. Here away by Avixili. Downfield, Muffinos. 50-50 with Cairo. Through the midfield, and Nabel with the save. Venerder, they can only get about to, about midway through it down the field before they get stopped. Not like boost is becoming too much of an issue for them. It's just that actual mission. Just stopping them in their tracks. But a double commit here. Ast um, Astral Mission will have to go back here, at least for a little bit. But once again, they clear the ball away. Obviously, the Muffino. Muffino, second touch! Ho oh, ho, Muffinos! My oh my! He hit the ball away from the net. He still got back to it. Double taps right on Enable's face. That one, that was not an easy shot from Muffinos. That's impressive he's actually able to hit that, because that one, he really didn't make it easy for himself when he hit it away from the net like that. But I think that might be the nail in the coffin here for Nerd Herd. The one thing they really couldn't do was adapt. And after the mission exploited that, they got the playstyle that works. Nerder just doesn't have that experience to adapt to it. As now Vixley, oh, another goal, make it 6 0. Oh. There's no doubt here who the winners are. As, yeah, Nerder, they've already given up. They've already given credits. <laughs> and they've already left, actually. My goodness. They're all gone. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see if um, Astral Emission wants to. Um, they want to get more goals. I don't know if they, I don't think they are. I think they're just gonna let the game end here. 
As yes, the, the, the results have been confirmed. I mean, it's not like they're gonna make a six-goal comeback anyways. This final minute would have been... Is a formality, no matter if they were in or not. This series very obviously goes to actual mission. Nerd Herd just could not respond, could not adapt to what... Ner uh... But what, so what could not adapt to what Anishin had, Nerd Herd. As well, okay, Muffin also, all right then. <laughs> Getting multiple flip resets, why not? As again, they're just gonna let this time tick away. National Emission. Something that you don't see often here. A 4 0 sweep, another 4 0 sweep. This one really did surprise me. These teams are meant to be really close to each other in the rankings, but you can tell there's a clear disparity here at Astral Mission. 4-0 sweep, they're gonna score on themselves. <laughs> so what's funny now is that BB Nerdard, the team, has scored more goals than any of their players has. The name BB Nerdard. In fact, when they played it 0 on 3, they've scored more goals than when they played 3 on 3. I don't know if that's why Astral Mission did that. As yeah, Nerdard left after they got scored on six times. It was the final minute. It, it wasn't like they are going to win anyways. I mean, credit to them. They congratulated um, Astral Emission. But now, they're going to make it 7. As this one in front. We'll see if they can get one at 0 seconds. No, they really don't want one. <laughs> they want it to drop. They're not going to give themselves that chance. Astral Emission, for a game straight, they take down Nerd Herd. The undefeated team, no more. Four games up, four games here for them. Well, tonight was quick. Two matches, both for sweeps. They started with Evolve Obsidian versus Takis Fuego. Evolve Obsidian took them three games to none. The Nerd Herd versus Astral Mission. Astral Mission won 4-0, as we just saw. Well, quick games here. That will... And the night for us. Thank you guys all so much. Make sure I get the prediction poll. Guess what, Falcons? You're right. Your prediction's correct. Good on you. As great ends the night here. Hopefully all of you are doing well. Hopefully all of you enjoyed that series. Enjoyed the stream. If you do, make sure to give a follow. Make sure to support. Never too late to not, to, uh, to not support. And it's, it's always greatly appreciated. As I will end it here. As we're, again, we're going to end the stream out. And thank you all so much for joining. Thank you all so much for support. Thank you, Blackline, for the raid. As we'll find a place for us to uh, send this to. As Chad, if you have any last messages, make sure to send them in now because I'm going to be looking to get a raid out here. We got that raid. Oh, that will be it for us. The stream will be end. Will end. We're gonna get some uh, more games tomorrow, and we'll also have a special guest. As I'm gonna find someone here for us. It's taking a while to find someone. There's not a lot of people live right now. That's interesting. We're in that weird time where it's before like the really late streamer stream, but after the earlier streamers uh, go live. Let me find someone for us. When did I do that? You'll be good to go. There. So, again, okay, we'll find something to raid here. Hmm. 
Interesting. Well, I know that uh, that is life. We'll just let's fight someone new tonight. Why not? Um. Okay. Let's go here. Team Donald. What is that? <laughs> Interesting. I found someone. Let's make sure that you guys don't hear this because I am going to go into this person's stream. Go ahead and copy down their name. Make sure that I can get us uh, to end the stream here. Thank you all again. Thank you all so much for joining. Thank you all so much for supporting us. For supporting me. Supporting anybody else who jumps in. Big win. Congratulations to Ashla Mission. Everybody take care. Have a great night.